We are here to do something great, to make our lives count for more than ourselves, for a cause much larger than ourselves or our time in history alone. Tonight, we are not only here to honor incredible public servants like Dr. Billington, but we are also here to celebrate the American idea. One of the things that distinguishes the United States from other countries is that we are a nation organized primarily around an idea, what Jack Kemp called the American idea. As what as Jack Kemp represented, uh, first personally to me, was one who was a great bridge builder. Jack, uh, such a special person, is his authentic love for the people in that community. He couldn't fake it. it. It was real. Jack Kemp believed in the power of ideas and the need for a strong national defense. The Jack Kemp Foundation was established in 2009, and it immediately embarked on the promise that my brother Jimmy made to my dad to look after his papers. Those papers are now housed at the Library of Congress, and they're a rich legacy, capturing much of his thinking and his life's work. But over the course of the past four years, as Jimmy has been leading the foundation and seeing these papers restored and holding these events and traveling the nation, we've learned and discovered that Dad left one more significant legacy, and that is a legacy of goodwill. Uh, and the Kemp Foundation's mission of preserving and expanding principles of growth, freedom, democracy, and hope could not be more important as we look toward the opportunities we have, not only in this new Congress, but also thinking about the strength of America. That uh, it was important for the Republican Party to have ideas that worked for inner city African Americans and Latinos. So at that point, I was sold. I started ordering his speeches uh, to be sent to my house, following him closely, um, uh, really growing as a person. And he was one of those people, as I credited in that some memoriam I wrote for him uh, when he passed, uh, as one of those people that contributed to making me really be an American far before I'm a Democrat. Senator Scott, can you reflect on what does it mean to you that an African American Democrat and an African American Republican can both be inspired by the Kemp legacy? I think it's really, from my perspective, it's common sense. When I, th when I talk to Corey about the issues that are important to him, when I think about the issues that are important to me, and then when we both reflect on the issues that were important to Jack, they're all the same issue. And it's the issue of the human condition. The beauty of Jack Kemp is he was not first a politician. He was not first looking for issues. He was first studying the human condition. I think if uh, I'm Mort Kondraki. Um, among other things, I'm uh, writing a book about Jack Kemp. Dr. Billington is not only the, the keeper of national treasures, he is himself a national treasure. Um, if you really want to know what Vladimir Putin is up to, what Russia wants, and how it wants it, I would like to send you back to The Icon and the Axe, the book written in 1966. It has been 50 years. It's the best book ever written about Russia. Thank you. A Nobel Prize winning neurophysicist told us at the Library of Congress not long ago that the human brain is hardwired, as he put it, hardwired for narrative. Stories are everywhere told by people, for people, and about people, both natural and supernatural. Affection for our own American story need not and does not impede us from enjoying and learning from the stories of others. Pluralism in our America has been based on a variety of people's deeply held beliefs, much more than a creeping monism of indifference, indifference to the very idea of belief itself. So I have an incurable optimism about the future of America, despite our present discontents. Um, but no, honestly, I, I think if we start the year on a good footing, if we start the year on the right tone, then I think there are a lot of good things that can get done, and I think on top of that would be tax reform. Because what you just heard is what the Kemp Forum is created to do. 
um, to provide a platform for the civil competition of ideas, um, one where people, regardless of where they're coming from, can engage and help continue to build this into a more perfect union. One of the quotes that we live by at the foundation is that you serve your party best by serving your country first.